Hello YouTube and welcome to another Linux video. So today I'm going to talk about Borg. So Borg is a very interesting backup program that supports encryption, decryption, compression and deduplication. Okay. So here I will just show you some simple steps in order to get started. Okay. So are you ready? Let's get started. So first thing first, you have to install uh, Borg backup. So here I'm under Ubuntu. So the easy step to install it is, is of course, sudo apt install Borg backup. So pretty easy, pretty neat. I have to provide the root password here. So that's always good. So do you want to continue? Of course, yes pretty easy so here it gives me some errors I don't know why maybe because the repository where I'm trying to download from is uh, has some problems so I'll use here the option fixed mesin okay so same thing I will answer yes here we go now it's installed Okay, that's pretty nice. So let's clear the screen in order to show you the steps. So here, as you can see, I'm under my home directory. Okay. So in this directory, I have a bunch of directories. So let's list them. So as you can see, I have a bunch of directories. So in order started with the Borg the first thing is you have to actually make a directory so I will make a directory for my backups so you can call it whatever you want I will just call it backup easy okay so now with the Borg you have to initialize this directory so actually this directory will contains all the backups all the archives that Borg will be using so before using Borg the first step is actually to initialize the repository the backup repository here so I will just type Borg then init for initialize then here I have to provide the path to this directory so I am on the same directory that my backup is my backup folder is so I will just type backup here we go but before hitting enter normally you must not you must but you should actually encrypt this directory so there is an option here called encryption encryption Normally here you provide the encryption algorithm that you want to use, but here I'm not going to encrypt this directory. So I'll just hit none. So it will not ask me for the encryption or for the passphrase for this directory or so on. So you can just use it like that. It's pretty easy also. Okay, so I hit enter. Now this directory has been initialized. Now I can use the Borg directory in order to backup my folders. So as you can see here, there is a directory called docs. So let's see what is inside this directory here, docs. So as you can see, I have here a bunch of uh, documents, JSON files and blob files and some Debian packages or just one called TeamViewer. So let's try actually to backup this directory. So remember the name of the directory is docs. Okay. So in order to backup this directory here, it's pretty easy with the Borg. So you have to type Borg, then create. Then here you have to specify the full path to the backup directory that we have initialized. So as you can see, it's my home directory here. So I will type this delta here, then slash then backup okay then you have to type double colon here then the name for your backup or archive 
So I will just call it, for example, backup one or archive one. So you can call it whatever you want. So let's just name it archive zero one. So this is the name of my backup. So you can call it whatever you want here. So here I'm just sticking with archive zero one. Then space, then here you have to provide the name of your directory. So it's also on the same directory here, which is my home directory. And the name of the folder that I want to backup is called docs. Okay. So pretty simple, pretty easy. Now you can backup directly your docs directory. But before hitting enter, we can add some options. For example, stats that will provide some statistics about what's going on. And also we can show the progress of that. But it will not take a lot of time because I have just some small files in this directory, okay? But it's always good to put these two options here in order to see what's going on. So remember here we backup in our docs directory into an archive 01. So let's hit enter and see what's going on. Here we go. It was pretty easy. So you can see here the output of this command work. So the number of files, as you can see here is six. Okay. And here we have the original size, which is 16.19 megabytes. And the compressed size is uh, 14.72 megabytes okay because here i have just some small uh, actually files and also the bn package is already compressed so as you can see here let's see the content of the backup file now so i will list it it's capital B here we go so we can see that I have a bunch of files that have been added when I have initialized our directory here and I have also a directory called data so let's go into it to see what is inside this directory here so there is also number zero, let's say what is inside. So there's a bunch of files and directories inside this backup directory that we have initialized. So let's say that you have finished now your backup and you want to see what is inside this backup directory. So let me clear that. So it's pretty easy. You can use also the board command but this time with the option list. And here you provide your backup directory that you have initialized. I have an error here. What is it? Maybe I mistyped something. Let me see. Oh, yes. I don't have to provide here, just list. <laughs> okay, now. So as you can see, it has list me the archive that I have been uh, using here. It's archive 01, okay. And it was backupped on Saturday, the 19th, the night of January 2021, okay. So if you want to list all your backups or the name of your backups, you just use the command borg list, okay. So let's see that you want to see what is inside this archive 01. It's pretty easy. All you have to do is to provide the name of your uh, archive. So remember, we have named it archive 01. Oh yeah, I have to type also the full path. Here we go. Oh yes, now I know where is the problem. You have actually two 
replace this slash with double columns here in order to see the content of your archive. Here we go. Now you have your six document that you have archived. Okay. So just remember here the procedure that we have been using. So first to initialize your backup directory, then you can use the create command in order to backup your directory or files. Okay. If you if you want to list them, you use just list command. Okay. So now we have finished with backup procedure. Now I have I want to show you how to extract this backup archive here. So also pretty easy. So in order to extract our backup. So let's move on to another directory. So let me see. Uh, I'm going to the document folder. Okay. So I have only one file here. So in this directory, I'll, I'll be actually extracting my backup file called archive01. So in order to do that, also pretty easy. All I have to do is the same command, but to replace the list with extract, because this time we have to extract actually our archive here. Okay. And here we go. Now, if you want to list, you can see that I have here full path home. So let me list what is inside this home. And as you can see, I have all my files that I have been backupping before. Okay. So just remember in order to extract your files, you have to provide actually the full path to the backup directory and also use the extract command. So that was just a brief introduction how to use the work command in order to backup and extract your files. As always, I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye bye.